Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a really easy stuffed pepper recipe. So as you can see, I'm presetting my oven to 425 right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and, I already rinsed the outside of my peppers, but I'm going to go ahead and slice the bottom and cut the inside out. And then I'll probably rinse them again before I put them into the pan, just so I can make sure I rinse the seeds out thoroughly and just make sure they're thoroughly clean since we'll be eating the outside of them because they're stuffed peppers, so you eat the whole thing. So that's what I'm doing here, one by one. Um... I like to use red, orange, yellow, and green peppers just to kind of give um, us a variety. Um, me and my husband are the only ones who really eat the whole stuffed pepper in the house. My daughter, she'll literally just only eat the meat sauce that I know that I put inside because she's an extremely picky eater. And of course, my son, he's just a baby, so you know he doesn't really. Um, eat any of this stuff right now anyway um sometimes i'll give him a little bit of like uh like a tiny bit of like the sauce um because he's almost nine months so he does eat regular food oops I actually made a mess <laughs> i popped out the seeds all over the table so i'll get that cleaned up but yeah sometimes my son can eat like you know some meat sauce here and there just that tiny bit but um yeah so that's what i'm doing here and then soon you'll see me put some olive oil on it and a little bit of um, salt and pepper. So this is me drizzling just a little olive oil on it. Um, not too much because you don't want it to get too soggy. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of um, Himalayan salt and um, ground black pepper on them. Um, again, not a lot because you don't want it to be super salty. I know it looks like I'm doing a lot, but it's not. It kept getting jammed. So it looks like I'm putting more than what I really was. Um, barely any got on there because the top kept getting jammed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven now for about 10, 15 minutes while I make the meat sauce because you don't you want them to soften up a little bit before you put the meat sauce inside of them. Then I'm just gonna olive oil my pan where I'm gonna be putting the meat and spinach and rice and sauce and stuff, all that good stuff, and um, let that warm up. And then for my meat, I'm using um, just ground turkey. And then you'll see I'm gonna <clears throat> put some seasons on it so like seasonal um i don't use a lot of it i know it looks like a lot but it's not garlic pepper garlic powder onion powder i think i use it like gro roasted garlic herb i believe and um maybe some tony's season i think it was but yeah it looks like a lot but it's really not a lot because you gotta remember the meat is pretty dense so i'm just putting it on top and then i'm just gonna mush it up with our masher and oh and some pepper <laughs> um so i have a masher i'm gonna mash it up so that can be easy to break apart. And then you'll see me eventually use the spatula to kind of just spread it around. Um, yeah, and I think I ended up putting a little bit more olive oil in there because I noticed that it started to stick just a tiny bit as it started cooking more. So I'm gonna cover that up and let it cook a little bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and check on the peppers, see if they're soft enough. Um, you'll notice that I checked one of them and it didn't feel soft enough for me. So I'll put them back in there. I think I put them back in there for like another five minutes. So now, you know, just continuing to move that ground turkey around so that can get cooked all the way through and thoroughly, um, you know, all the pieces can get cooked properly. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the top back on while I make the rice and take the peppers out. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some spinach in there um, because I like to have spinach in ours. That's the green part that, you know, our, the vegetable. I mean, I know the peppers are vegetables, but you know, the spinach adds actually a bit of green to put in there. Um, for you know nutrients and just the health benefits of spinach then I'm gonna cover it up and go ahead and let that cook a little bit longer and now I'm gonna go ahead and um, just kind of combine everything now that the spinach is softer I can combine it with the ground turkey easier and then um, you'll see that my next step is going ahead and putting the white rice into there so the white rice is to just add a little bit of a you know, I just always like putting white rice in mine, honestly. Sometimes I put brown rice, sometimes I put white rice. All I had on hand right there at that point was white rice, so that's what I put it in. Just gonna mix it up before I go ahead and put the um, tomato sauce in there. And I just use just some regular, you know, spaghetti sauce for real, for real. Like, um, I use some ragu, I think it is, yeah. Ragu spaghetti sauce and I let that I stir that up a little bit and then you'll see I put the top back on it and I let it simmer for like um I want to say I let it simmer for maybe another five or ten minutes just so the sauce can thoroughly mix with the rice ground turkey and 
uh, spinach and then you'll see I added a little bit more of those same seasons that I had put on the ground turkey again it looks like a lot but it's not because you gotta realize how I'm shaking it not much is coming out so um once I finish adding those other seasonings those seasonings back onto the entire concoction <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and put the stir it up you know get it all mixed in well and then I'll put the top back on for like another five minutes and then you'll see me go ahead and start to stuff the peppers hence the name stuff peppers <laughs> all right moving on back on track focus Tyler all right um all right so I'm mixing it up here mixing in, mixing in, covering back up boom 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 turn it down a little bit now let's go ahead and stuff these peppers so I'll go ahead and get a spoon to fill the peppers up and you'll notice that as I'm filling the peppers up I have some meat sauce left over so some of that leftover meat sauce like I said I just put away in like a container for my daughter to eat later when she gets from school because she doesn't like the pepper she just likes the meat sauce and she will tear a bowl of that meat sauce up I don't know I don't know. And that's my easiest way to get her to eat spinach too, child. Because she don't even be caring when it's spinach in there. But she'll care if it's spinach by itself. She won't eat it if it's by itself. But if it's in the meat sauce, she will not pay no mind. She'll just eat it. So I said, all right, cool. If I got to sneak it in here or put it in here for you to eat it, that's fine by me. So anyway, um, all right. So I'm stuffing my peppers. And, you know, I don't mind if it falls over into the pan a little bit. If it doesn't all get into the pepper for me, that's not a big deal. I know some people like to be super neat and make sure it all gets into the pepper. Not me. Um, whether it falls over or not, it's all going to go on the plate and it's all going to get eaten, child. Trust and believe that. All right. So now you'll see I'm about to get some shredded cheese. And I'm just going to put a little bit of shredded cheese on each one of them. Not a lot. You know, you just want a little bit of a little cheesy crusty you know crusted topping um so i'm just using i think this is just some mix or five type mixed cheese i think i can't remember but yeah now i'm gonna put it back in the oven for about probably 10 maybe 15 minutes um just so it can you know the peppers can get a little softer and the cheese came out now you'll see me just cleaning my um stove while they finish cooking in the oven now me i just usually use a little bit of dish soap water so like i'll put some dish detergent on a um, rag with some hot water wipe it down then i'll go back in with a dry dish towel or sorry yeah i guess it is a dish towel and dry it up and then i'm gonna take the peppers out and as you can see they look delicioso and i'm gonna pop them in a bowl for you know get you get get into it honey get in <laughs> pop it into a bowl for me and my husband and we're gonna eat that's it 